us to another episode in a series of episodes in which we continue looking at the August 2024 Mathematics paper team. If you haven't seen the other episodes, please check out on our YouTube channel or download the companion app that you are seeing on the right hand side of your screen. In this app, you are going to find a lot of materials that are going to be helpful to you. You are going to find quizzes based on the topical exam pass papers. You are going to find over 10,000 questions with few solutions, instant solution and detailed explanation. Let us look at question 14. In the diagram, P, Q, R, S are points on the circle with center O and P, Q, R equals 68 degrees. T, R, U is a tangent at T, R. Find A, angle P, O, R, B, angle P, S, R, C, angle P, R, O. So this question is one of the questions that comes in paper 1. It's just a matter of understanding the seven key th circle theorems. Once you understand them, this question is a giveaway question, which is the four free marks. So before I even answer question by question, I can answer some few things. Which angles can I find from the diagram that I've been given. Number one, I can find the angle at the center, which is this angle. So I can find this angle using the angle at the center theorem, which states that the angle at the center is twice the angle at the circumference. So what is the angle at the circumference? It's this angle. So this angle is facing in this direction. So this is why I use this principle. So to find the angle at the center, I just multiply 68 by 2. So 2 times 8 is 16, cut 1. 2 times 6 is 12 plus 1, which is 13. So this angle is 136. Then having found that angle, I can find also these angles. Because these angles, they complete the triangle, which is this is x and this is x. So to find that angle, I just add the 3. So I can use this space, which is here. So it will be x plus x plus 136 must equal to 180. So 2x is equal to, this one crosses the equal sign, becomes a negative. So we're going to have 180 minus 136. So I'm going to end up with 2x is equal to 44. And divide by 2, divide by 2, so x is equal to 22. So the value of x there is in 22, so I can just come and label this one to be 22 degrees, and this one to be 22 degrees. Once I do that, I ask myself, which other angle can I find? So I can find this angle. How can I find this angle? I use the cyclic quadrilateral theorem, which states that the opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral total 180 degrees. So if you see, this is a four-sided, which looks like a kite, which is, this is the cyclic quadrilateral. So the opposite angles, so what it means is this angle and this angle, they add up to 180. Then this angle and this angle, they add up to 180. So it's that principle that we use to solve that angle. So... I can use this space here, so I'm going to say, let me call this angle to be y, so it's y plus 68 degrees is equal to 180, using the cyclic quadrilateral theorem, so y is equal to 180 minus 68, so y is equal to 112 degrees. That's the value of y. So I found the, the value of y to be 112 degrees. Okay, what else can I find? So so far, this is what I can find. But I also know that uh, some angles I can find them using that like that. But let me look at now the questions that have been asked. Find angle P O R. Angle P O R. What is that angle? P 
or R we found this angle to be 136 so this is 136 degrees already found then angle P is R so which angle is that P is R we found this angle to be 112 so just now the matter of putting 112 degrees what's the last angle angle P R O P R O so is this angle P R O this angle okay I can use the black one so this this angle this angle we are looking for so that angle we already found it to be 22 so we already answered everything so this is how you answer this question to get the full four marks. Thank you for joining me in this episode. Join me in the next episode as I look at question 15.